She is also an Ali'i, but then her husband's also an Ali'i. Ali'i, Ali'i. <laughs> I just feel like I probably should have named her something different. And yes, I did name her after the voice of the girl who does Moana, in case you were wondering. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. This episode is super, super special because I now have the new Island Living pack. And this whole pack will tie into our Royal Family series and you'll get to see in just a second. But before I go through that, I just wanted to go through the last episode. So in the last episode, we had one of King Adrian of Oasis Springs, one of his mistresses, was found out by his wife, Queen Lindsay. They ended up getting into this huge fight, like an actual physical fight. So a lot of you guys were saying in the last episode that the queen would would behead her or something like that, or at least banish her. So it was technically Lady Harmony's already banished, but I thought it might work. So I'm not actually showing this in this episode, but this is basically what has happened in between episodes. But basically Lady Harmony has been officially banished by Queen Lindsay. And even though King Adrian is technically the one that has a say in everything, Queen Lindsay still has like in insider people that can kind of banish her. So they banished her to, they didn't even really know where, just kind of like this beachy place that they had never heard of. They banished Lady Harmony there. Lady Harmony found out about this new kingdom, the kingdom of Sulani, and she told the king and queen where she was from, and the king and queen heard all about these other kingdoms that they had never heard of before, so they reached out to those kingdoms and have invited them over to meet them at this little cool luau thing that they're going to have, which is very traditional for them. So guys, this episode so is going to be just really cool. I'm going to go through a lot with the Island Living pack, but it won't kind of be like, like I've played it already. So it's not like new discovery things like all the other Island Living Let's Plays out there. So it'll be definitely different. So I hope you guys are as excited for this as I am. So if you are super, super excited for this, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. And let's go ahead and play the Royal Family with some Island Living in it. Okay guys, so the first part of this episode is going to be me introducing you to our new royal family of Sulani because they do have other family on here as well and this culture is definitely different because as you know in our other worlds we have like the other nobles the duke and the duchesses and the earls and all of that as well and I kind of have an Oasis Springs as like a different culture but they also have the duke and earl and all of that because they have kind of been like not overthrown by but like they have been like their culture I don't even know what the word is for it taken over I guess but not really taken over you know how in Act, like in the real world in India like the British kind of went into India and like renamed a bunch of stuff and like taught them their ways and all that stuff that's kind of how I imagine Oasis Springs to be so Sulani has not yet been met by any other cultures so they are kind of doing their own thing with their own culture but I think now that they are about to meet all the other cultures and all the other kingdoms that they might learn a few things from them and then some of the noble titles might get like bled into there so yeah we'll, we'll just it'll be like a gradual thing because I'm still learning a lot about the culture and I based this off of Hawaii and I learned some stuff from the Hawaiian royalty so I'm still doing a lot of research and I couldn't figure some stuff out but if any of you guys know anything you guys can put that in the comments below but I'm basically doing like the extent to my, of my knowledge so let's go ahead and start so I can show you guys our royal kingdom I'll start I mean we basically only have like three royal houses and I did if you can if you have the game or if you have seen other youtubers post content from island living you'll see that I kind of have change some of the lots a little bit. So this is actually the lot that Lady Harmony is living at. So she is still living with the governess. The governess probably needs to change her clothes because she's probably going to overheat in Sulani if she wears that. But this is the house that Lady Harmony has basically found. Like it's not a very nice house at all. It's a very small lot. It's a 20 by 20. And then one of the lot traits is off the grid. So basically to avoid ever being found by Queen Lindsay. But little does she know Queen Lindsay is about to like be in this kingdom. <laughs> so I think she did probably think of that when she was telling the king and queen of Sulani about the other kingdoms. So that's where Lady Harmony is living. And then so this is our main castle and the royal family of Sulani. So the castle I did find in the gallery and it is based off of the, I have to find the name of this and I will show this to you guys as well. Okay, so the palace is called Iolani Palace and this is actually the palace in Hawaii. So it was the, the home of the Hawaiian monarchy. I found this in the gallery. It is made by Tan Dai go 
one, two, three. I will put that in the description below if you guys want to download it. I have started making renovations to it, but there's still a lot to do because I still wanted that like island feel to it and it doesn't really have that feel to it, but I'll show you the castle in a little bit so you guys can see. But this castle, I just thought was so cool and I definitely wanted this for my game. I did have a few other people send me castles, which was really, really cool and I would love to download them too to my game. I mean, we could probably have more than one castle. I don't know. Some of the castles were really cool and could totally be useful for one of the other families, but yeah. So that is the palace that they're living in so that I will put in the description below so you can download the original and then whenever I'm done doing renovations to ours, I will put that in my gallery and my gallery name is The Real Mira Ray and I will put that in the description below as well. I will upload the other updated royal families because I think right now like the Oasis Springs royal family, the kids are like still children and now they're teenagers. So I will upload the updated family for them and then I will upload our new royal family as well so you guys can play with them too. But just so you know, they do have custom content so you're gonna have to turn on the custom content box. Okay, so this is our royal family and I will like show you guys them in just a little bit, but I also have, so what, like one of the noble titles and they all, it's, it's just, it's kind of confusing. So one of the noble titles is Ali'i and that is a chief in in Hawaii. It's Ali'i, but then there's different forms of it. Like there's Ali'i Nuali or something like that. And that's like one form of chief, but then there's like a Ali'i Pahu something. I don't know, but they all have like Ali'i in it. And that just made it really confusing. They only have so many letters that I can fit in here. So basically this is just really confusing. So we have here, so we have the king. So we have King Mahaka and then they have the last name Sulani, like all the other royal families pretty much except for Oasis Springs. And then Queen Lokalani. And then we have Princess Leilana. And so you guys know, I did find a mod where I could make longer names and I will put that in the description below as well. You can't make their names longer in create a sim mode. You have to go into your cheat box and you have to click rename and I will show you guys how to do that in this episode as well. So that does mean that we can have princesses with longer names, you guys. So from now on, your suggestions, they don't have to be limited to five letters because I know you guys were starting to do that. You were starting to make suggestions and like taking into consideration that I couldn't have a name that long, which I appreciated so, so much. So yeah, now it doesn't have to be short. Now we can make all of our Sims names as long as we want, which makes me so, so happy. Like I just felt so restricted for that. So this is Princess Leilana. I love her name. If you guys are wondering, because I know you guys will probably do a lot of comments below I will put their names in the description below so you guys know how to spell them because the these families and their names are much harder to spell but Leilana is lay like a lay like a flower lay so l-e-i and then Lana l-a-n-a so that's how you spell her name and then I'll just put the other ones in the description below I'm not gonna go through all of that because it's gonna take a lot of time and I have a feeling this episode is gonna be pretty long because I have a lot to get through so that is our royal family so then we have so King Mahaka his sister lives here and she married the technically she is also an Ali'i but then her husband's also an Ali'i too so it's a little bit confusing but they're basically a noble it's the equivalent to a noble family and they have let's see so they have Lotu so that's her husband his sister's husband and then Ali <laughs> Ali'i, Ali'i. <laughs> I just feel like I probably should have named her something different. I might change that. Should I change? I don't know. I like the name. And yes, I did name her after the voice of the girl who does Moana, in case you were wondering. I think I'm going to keep the name. I, I don't have a royal title for her. And you know what? A lot of the names anyway kind of repeat itself. I'm, I'm not going to change it. I don't think I'm going to change it. But I will try to figure out how to pronounce them differently. So there is some sort of distinction between the two. So that is his sister. So that is King Mahaka's sister. And then they had two boys, so they had Makai, and then they had Kona. So Makai is a teenager, and then Kona is a child, as you can tell. That is their children, so that is Princess Leilana's cousins, obviously. And then here we have, so we have the king's mother and, and Ali'i's mother too. So their mother is Kayala, and she was actually the pre-made Sim that had lived here, but then I, I made her their mother and moved her here too, because I thought she seemed pretty, like, respectful respectable, but I don't know. She was just living here and I kind of like all of them to kind of live on the same island. And I know they live next to a volcano and that means that there's volcanic activity, but I got rid of that trait in the lot. So I don't know if that means that the volcano won't erupt. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully not because it's kind of freaky and I don't know what happens. I haven't seen that happen yet, but apparently your Sims can die if the volcano erupts and they get hit by some sort of like lava rock rain or something like that. Okay. So that is their mother and then their, their father passed away already. And then this is Leah who was, yes, her granddaughter 
are here too. So I basically just kind of like incorporated them into our royal family story and kind of changed the names and their looks a little bit too. So this is Leah and she is her granddaughter, which means that she's the king's niece. So all these families are related right here. And then I did add a little brother for her. So this is Kekoa. So he is her little brother. So he's also related to the entire royal family. So I didn't add royal titles for them. Technically, Keala, I mean, she was the queen. She's like the equivalent of like a prime minister or like a royal advisor because there was a queen of Hawaii who when her husband passed away, she acted as that to like her son and her grandson. So that's basically what it is. But for now, she's just an Ali'i and she's not too into to like, I feel like she's retired. Like she's like, I'm done. I just want to take care of my grandchildren because their parents passed away. So their mother was the king's sister and Ollie's sister too. So their mother and father both passed away. So she's just worried about taking care of them right now because both of the children are kind of troublesome. So Leah and Kikoa, they're both kind of like troubled a little bit. I mean, obviously their parents passed away. So that's all she's really worried about at the moment. So we're going to go ahead to the, I now have, it's called the Palace of Sulani or Sulani. Palace, I guess, but I'm gonna call it the Palace of Sulani. We're gonna go ahead there so I can give you a tour of the castle. Okay, you all, so this is the Palace of Sulani, and oh my gosh, you guys, this game is so, so, oh no, that's the water. It's so beautiful. Like, it is just, it's so, it's so pretty. I love it so, so much, and if you guys missed, like, my other videos, I was saying how the Sims 3 island, it wasn't called the island, I think it was, like, Island Paradise or something, but that one was my favorite in the Sims 3, and this is awesome. So this gotta be, like, it's probably tied with, I don't know what my other favorite pack is. Seasons was pretty cool. I love whatever pack, I think, Get Together that Windenburg came with too. But oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so this is our castle and it's pretty, pretty cool. But I do want to add a lot more, like, tropical elements to it because the way it came, it kind of looks a little bit, oh, did not want to save. It kind of looks a little bit like just like a regular palace, kind of. Like, it has the very just like historical aspects to it with like the chandeliers and all of that but it does still have like a very different feel it actually feels a little bit more like antique -y. but I did want to add some more elements of like the tropical vibe to it so I upstairs started doing that with like the bedrooms really but there is just a lot more work that needs to be done here so I, I feel like when I'm finished with it that's when I'll kind of show you everything oh gosh oh yeah I did I like just like messed it up a little bit but I did put a flower in my hair because I'm really extra and I thought it was really cute so this is what I have for the palace. Basically all upstairs is the bedrooms and then downstairs, I mean, typical. I have like, it came with a throne room already, which is pretty cool because I didn't have to add that. Then we have like our little foyer, but there's just like, I want to add more floors. I want to add like a basement with just like a lot more to it. So this palace has a lot of work to be done. So there is, there's, there's a lot we can do, but I did put some boats back here. Actually, if we're going to have everyone over, we should probably like decorate this and make it more like a little luau hangout vibe, but then they could also have them over at like their castle here. Like this is their dining room, which I thought was pretty cool because I thought this was kind of like a little bit more tropical feel to it. The carpet probably not so much, but like at least the table and everything does. Yeah, there's just a lot of work to be done. I will download it or I will upload it to my gallery when I am finished with that. But yeah, so I guess there was not too much to do with the palace, but I will show you guys their outfits and everything. So I'm gonna just kind of breeze through this a little bit. Not gonna show you all of their outfits, but I'll show you like the looks and everything with them. And in case you guys were wondering, yes, my Sims are mermaids because this comes with mermaids and that's just the coolest thing ever. So I decided to make all of our Sims in the royal family mermaids, which I thought was really cool because it gives them like something special to like add to that. So basically they're all mermaids except for Leah and Kakoa, which are, their, their parents passed away so they're living with their grandma. So those are those Sims because their father wasn't a mermaid. So they didn't end up having like being a mermaid and I feel like they kind of feel like left out a little bit of the family because of that aspect because their grandmother is a mermaid like they're all mermaids except for them so yeah so that's just like a, a little added thing to it so what we have here so this is King Mahaka I just used most of the island living stuff there is some custom content though but most of this is from the island living pack the crowns I didn't really think there was a crown that 
fit. So I decided to do this like headband thing for the kings and like I guess in the future the princes specifically. But that's kind of what is setting him apart as like more like royalty, but also wearing the more cultural cultural outfits and everything as well. Because if you know, like on the other the other people on the island wear a little bit more modern but tropical clothing that the island living pack comes with. So they are wearing a little bit more cultural things. So that is him. And then this is his mermaid form because I know you guys want to see that. So this is his mermaid form. I might have the headband to him too. So I actually have it so, and I don't know why I decided to do this. I just thought it would be kind of different. I have it so when they turn into a mermaid, like their tattoos go away because they all, per I think, all of them pretty much. They all have tattoos. I just thought it would be kind of interesting to have them because I'm sure when they turn into mermaids, they kind of get like a new breathable skin sort of thing, which I'm sure that also comes from their tail too. But it was just like a different aspect. You guys can let me know what you think about that. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't make that much sense to me, but let me know what you guys think if I should keep that or not. Cause I could just have the tattoos back if I need to, but yeah. So that is King Mahaka. So he's got like a really cool red tail and I don't know what this is, but it comes with the Island Living Pack and I thought it was cool and I thought it was appropriate. So we just kept that for him. And then we have Queen Lokolani. This is her every everyday outfit. I don't know, it's just kind of cool. I mean, pretty much the everyday outfit and like the hot weather outfit and everything kind of looks the same. For her hair, this is the hair that comes with the Island Living Pack. I am not a huge fan of the fact that it's not separated from her. So like that has to be her hairstyle when she's wearing that crown. I did download some custom content of like flowers and stuff too. If I like, like stuff like this. Oh, well, you can't see it because she has a flower crown that's like actually her hair apparently. So like I have like this, but I just felt like the other one was more accurate to their culture and everything. But then again, I don't like that their hair is like that. So hopefully by the time Leilana becomes queen, there will be some sort of custom content where that can be separated from everything else. If you guys have any other like cool flower crowns that look like that, that you know of custom content, please drop that in the comments below because I would love to see that and I would love to download that and add that to my game. But like stuff like this, so like this is her formal outfit. They all have like this fur that they wear it's like a fur cape. So that's kind of what like the royals and the chiefs and stuff would wear. So I, this was the closest thing I could find. I could not find like capes unless it came like as, as an actual outfit, but it was like this fur like shoulder thing, which I thought was pretty cool and accurate. So that's what I have for her formal wear. And then her mermaid form is this. So I did use that other flower crown that's custom content for her mermaid form because I wanted her hair to be different. I kind of so far have made all of their tops kind of combined with their tails. I didn't do like the shells or anything like that. I actually don't love the way that these shells that they added to the game look. So maybe I'll get to find some other shells that are custom content. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. So it's kind of like part of their body, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't get rid of her tattoos. I thought I did. So I'll just do that for now, unless you guys tell me that that's ridiculous and you don't understand why I'm doing that, then I won't do it. So then that's Queen Lokalani. And then this is Princess Leilana. Oh my God, you guys, I am so, so obsessed with her. Like she is probably my favorite Sim ever. I'm also obsessed with her outfit. I love the blue. So this is probably one of my favorite outfits that she has. So that is her everyday outfit. I did have a second one. This one was also kind of cool, but I kept the same top with it, but I liked the skirt that came with the Island Limited Pack. So I decided to add that to it. And then for her formal outfit. So this is what I have for her, her formal outfit. I wasn't too sure about the dress because I couldn't tell if it, if it might look like it, just a little bit more like an Indian design. But then again, it also kind of looks like a Polynesian design. So I'm having a hard time deciding which one I like. I did have like other dresses, like stuff like this, uh, and then like more like this, but this just looks way too modern for me. And I feel like it needs to be a little bit more accurate to like their culture, like at least until they meet all the other kingdoms, like all the other royals from the kingdoms, and they can like learn a little bit more from them. So that's for her formal outfit. And then the other stuff you guys will see, they're not as important. So I will show you her mermaid form. And then for some reason, her tattoos didn't go away either, but I thought I, I oh wait, oh, I forgot to unlink it. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, so when you do a mermaid form, you have to unlink it with the sim form if you want it to look like completely different. I just love like how bright this was. And I thought it was really pretty, especially for a princess. And then I got like these gold shells with like this teal, turquoise stone and all that and then like the flowers in her hair too and it looks so pretty you guys I love it so 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 much I love her so much she's so pretty so that is our royal family oh 
You guys, when I exit out of here, I have to, like, they're making me change your name because of the mod, because they're saying it's too long. If I just exit out, because I don't, did I make any change? I think I, like, changed their tattoos and stuff, but I'll worry about that later, because I don't feel like changing her name now. You know what? I should have saved so I could show you guys how to change their names. Well, I'll show you guys anyway. So, basically what you have to do is you have to click on the sim that you want to change their name. Oh my god, guys, she's swimming like a mermaid. It's so cool. I'm so, <laughs> I love it. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna do that a lot probably in this episode, so just be prepared. So you have to click on the sim that you want to change their name, and then if you guys know how to do the cheat box, so you have to do control shift C, and then this little white thing will pop up, and then you have to type in rename, and that's literally it. Type in rename, and then you can change their name from here, and you can make it as long as you want, which is so, so cool. So I'm not naming her that, that's a little ridiculous. So yeah, so that's how you do that. And then I will put that in the mod in the description below as well, so you guys can all do that. So yeah, okay guys. Okay, so it actually looks like their extended family is here with them right now. I forgot, I did try to make a group with them, but I, since it's still a new group, they don't have enough. Oh, well we can add one more sim right now, but I wanna like add the whole family to it so I can have at least like have them do a get together because for the party that I I invited all the other sims too. I've already invited all of them, but I have this mod where you could, should be able to invite like as many people as you want, but it wouldn't let me invite more than 15, which I thought was really weird. But today they have their Kava party, so I had that scheduled. So I didn't have enough sims to, or I couldn't invite more sims. So I'm just going to have to like invite their family separately. Their Kava party's about to start. I should probably have, I, mm, okay. So I didn't, I don't even know if I like want the jet skis. They're not, I haven't even actually like tried it yet with my sims, but it's not like, it doesn't seem super exciting. So just for now, I'm just gonna delete them and I'll, I'll probably bring them back later. But I want some like outdoor seating so it can just feel more like a luau as opposed to them all eating inside. Okay, so this is what I added for their little luau thing. So this is all from the Island Living pack. So I have these like cool little canopies and tables for each of them, even though we probably are inviting a lot more people than this. So I don't know. I don't know if I should add more, but I feel like it's fine. I might just like get rid of the boat here for now and just put some lounge chairs or something. So I'm just, I feel like this is good for now. I don't think we need like a whole ton, even though we do need to kind of like impress the royal family a little bit, but they really don't know much about the royal family at all. It's funny though, cause I mean, it's not funny cause I did this on purpose, but they all have kids who are like the age of their daughter. So I just think that's kind of cool. So we are going to have that party start in like two hours. So for now, I, I really feel like this is fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and start making the food. I don't actually even know know if any of them have a cooking skill level at all. So I don't even know how well this is going to turn out. Ooh, pork adobo, oh my gosh. My boyfriend's mom, Jake, no, no, that's not her name. My boyfriend, Jake's mom, she makes this adobo, like a chicken adobo, and it's so, so good. Cause Jake's family is from Hawaii, so they make a lot of Hawaiian food. And then they also have Kahlua pork, which is so good. I love Kahlua pork too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, well, I wanna make Kahlua pork for sure. Whoa, guys, look how this cooked. Two hours until ready. Oh, I'm glad we, I'm really glad we started cooking that now. I really hope it doesn't turn out poor quality though. You should probably have learned how to cook before this. I probably should have used the cheat to make their cooking skill level high because he should totally know how to cook this, I feel like. Okay, so Kava party is about to begin. I'll be honest, I have no idea what Kava is, but I guess we're gonna find out. I'm pretty sure it's like a drink or something, or according to The Sims it is. Basically all we have to do is socialize with the guests 12 times and then invite guests to drink Kava, which we all have on the table here. So I don't know if we have to like, oh wait. That's a lamp. I thought th I thought I had put a kava bowl here. Well, okay. I mean, I thought it was super fancy and cute, but I, that that it's just a lamp. Okay, I found it. Why do they only have one kava bowl? They should have more than one. I feel like can I, can you you can't even choose a color for it. Like why? So they're preparing the kava, the king and queen are. So while they're doing that, I'm going to have Leilana greet all of the guests, which I don't see any of them. I actually do need to invite a lot of the other Sims that I couldn't invite because I, th I didn't have enough space to invite them. So I'm going to just like transport them over here using a cheat. Okay guys, apparently I can't do that. It's not letting me. So unfortunately we're not going to get to meet, have them meet all of the royal family. And I'm pretty sure like I didn't get to invite Princess Amira was one of them. And there's someone else too I didn't get to invite that it was like pretty important to our story. So I literally cannot find any Sims here. I like exited out of the event and then tried to, I, I created a new event and I had it here at the palace again, but no one is coming. 
So I don't know why. I don't know if that's like a glitch because it won't let me transport anyone here either. And then when I like tried to put the food out, it said, oh, whoa, I got a lot of food in here. Um, when I try to put the food out, it won't like let me invite guests to meal or anything like that or like call guests to meal. So I wonder if I have to do it in a different venue. So I'm just gonna try to do that instead. Okay, guys. So I decided to do the party at, it's called the Mermaid Bar. So it's something that I downloaded from the gallery. I just made a few different uh, changes to it. So. So it is a little bit crowded and it's a little small. I probably should have gone to a place that was not like this, but I feel like this is good for now. And it's really just time for them to meet all of the other royal families too. So I am going to put the kava bowl here because it's kind of the point of our party. So I'm going to put the kava bowl right there and then I'll put the other one on this table. So it's kind of spread out a little bit. And then I will put the Kahlua pork over here. So we do have some food, we have brought food. There's a random gnome here that I hate. I hate gnomes so, so much. They are just really, really freaky. Whoa, guys. Okay, that's probably not something you want to do in front of people for the first time that you're meeting them. And then, of course, Prince Johan is getting, like, super, super angry. And he's probably just being really rude. I don't know why. So it looks like King Adrian is here. So I am going to introduce ourselves to him. And then we have Queen Nina here, too. So I want to make sure that we introduce ourselves to her as well. So friendly introduction. We have Prince Johan. Johan, so I'll have Princess Leilana introduce herself to him. So we also need to make sure that everyone drinks the kava, so I will have him... Oh wait, how do I do that? Oh, uh, call the grab drink. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So we will fulfill that. We have her cousins here, Leah is here. But yeah, guys, I don't see all of our sims. Like, I don't see all of the sims that we invited, and I don't know, I don't know why they're not here. So, that will have to be another thing we do, is go ahead and introduce ourselves to them later on. I was kind of hoping they would all come here, and it's kind of disappointing that they're not here. But yeah, guys, I can't, I usually can just teleport sims and tell them to come here, but I can't do that for some reason. It says error log, and it might be because I don't, oh, you know what, I have not, if there is an update for the MC Command Center, I have not downloaded it yet. So that actually might be the issue. I might just have to download the updated version because I have not done that. Okay, guys, so like our our goals are not being met at all. Like we got we got to grab a drink of kava, so there's that. But like we didn't actually like it's not saying we're socializing with our guests, which doesn't make sense because King Adrian and like Prince Johan, they're all technically guests. We invited them. I don't understand. I don't know if it's the kava party. I don't know if it's something wrong with my MC command center or what. But hopefully I can figure this out so they can actually like throw parties in the future because this is kind of disappointing because I wanted to do this in this episode. But I think we did cover a lot of this episode, you guys. I think I'm just going to have our sims, like the royal family, invite or like go ahead and like come here and meet them. Like at least like Windenburg or like Willow Creek and all of that. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to end this event. Okay, so I'm now playing from the royal family of Windenburg. So I'm just going to have them all travel and I'm going to invite, I'm just going to invite the Willow Creek royal family for now. And then I can invite like other people later on. Probably not gonna have King Henry invite Lady Ava just- Oh wait, if we visit them, they're not actually there though. They're all at the beach club. So I guess we should all- No, no, where are they? No, they're at the mermaid bar. Wherever- Where did I put that? I put that right here. Okay, so they're all here. So I'm going to have invite Princess May, Princess Amira. We're going to invite Queen Cora, Prince Jack, Prince Louis. I'm not gonna invite Lady Ava now because that I don't want this to be the first time that his family meets Lady Ava. So we'll invite them later on. And then we have King- uh, Not King Kellen. Prince Kellen and Princess Belle. So they're all going to go meet the royal family of Sulani. Okay, so they're all here now. I feel like they're like, I'm so sorry, we're late. Like, we got lost. <laughs> so they, hopefully the royal family's here because like, what if they're not? Oh my gosh, what if they're not? Oh no, okay, guys, they are here. Also, it's like 5 a.m., but that is okay. So we're here, finally. So I see, I do see the queen. So I'm gonna have King Henry introduce himself to the queen. So he'll do a polite introduction. I'm going to, ooh, I don't know. Is Princess Amira going to be open to meeting Leilana? I don't know. I'm going to have King Kellen introduce himself to her first. You should probably also introduce yourself to Makai. So Makai is technically a novel, so they're going to do a friendly introduction to them. I'm just going to have them meet as many people as they can. Okay, so Princess Amira right now is talking to the Queen. Of course, that is just like her to just like go to the Queen first. So she's talking to the Queen, introducing herself to her. Then basically, yeah, just going to have them introduce themselves. Oh, Prince Louis is here. Oh, wait. Oh, we invited him. Duh. Oh my gosh. Good job, right? So I can't like make Princess Belle and all of them introduce themselves to the royal family, but they will 
at some point. Oh my gosh, Queen Cora is like so overdressed right now, you guys. I can't believe I can make their names longer now, you guys. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is like literally just, I'm so, so relieved to be able to do that. I mean, yeah, so they're just going to introduce themselves to them. It looks like the party didn't work out, but I will try to figure out how to make that work because I think I just need to get like the updated version of the MC Command Center, I'm pretty sure. And hopefully that's the only thing I need to do because I don't know why it's being like weird and stuff because I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't have our nice cool Kava party thing. I just have to make sure that King Henry introduces himself to King Mahaka because that's probably important. That's who you're really here to see is like the king and the queen of Sulani. So gotta make sure everyone important introduces themselves to them as well. But yeah, guys, okay, yeah, you guys don't need to see me like keep introducing them to like all these people. So I am gonna end this episode here. I'm so sorry the Kava party didn't work out, but we'll probably have that in the future and they will get to have more get togethers and then the royal family of Sulani is going to kind of like learn the culture of the other kingdoms too after meeting them. In the next episode, I do want King Henry to invite over Lady Ava over for dinner to meet like the family and everything. I'll probably still try to go back to the royal family of Sulani in the next episode as well and kind of have them meet all the other people because I want Princess Leilana to meet all of the royal teenagers and then maybe she could get invited into the royal teenagers club that Princess Amira has started. So she should probably try to get on Princess Amira's good side. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys thought of our new royal family of Sulani and all the nobles, like their other extended family as well. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up so I did know that you liked it. Don't forget to make any suggestions in the comments that you want to because I would love any ideas to like incorporate them a little bit more in the story. I love seeing your guys' suggestions and ideas, so I will definitely try to do that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!